Hey, good people, family, how you doing? This is Dr. Oliver T. Reed, the Relationship Architect. I'm here again to talk about my six ways to examine your relationship from the inside out. We've already talked about three of them. We talked about digging in the open, error messages, passwords, and today I'm going to be talking briefly about the fourth one. The fourth way is word searches. Say that with me, word searches. We heard the old nursery rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. We, how many times have you heard that? Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I think that that is the most tragic myth that was embedded in our framework as kids. That the words that we hear do not impact us. That is a falsehood. We have been bamboozled. We have been hoodwinked. We've been connived. We've been distorted in our view because not only will words hurt you, they break you and they transcend down to the next generation of relationships. I feel we live in an age where people are still suffering from the words that their grandfather taught them, their ancestors have taught them, the people before them have taught them. We have brought that into our relationships today. And if you don't believe me, I can show you many references about how people say the things that their parents have told them to say and how they should say it. Now they bring in 1950 terminology into 2019. We're saying that in today's time over our relationships. And we want to have a legacy. We want to have things to grow in our relationships. But a lot of times it will take the reconstruction of that entire thing. And one of the things I do in my relationship coaching, I have something called the construction site, guys. And I want you to go to my site at the end and I'll tell you all the information about how sometimes we have to tear everything up, tear it from the floor up to, in order to build up and to grow up. But today we're talking about the fourth way. And that fourth way is word searches. I'll give you a story. My grandmother used to sit on her porch and the little swing, and she would swing, and there was a draft, and she'll be out there just enjoying herself and her plants, and she'll sit down, and she'll pull out her book of crossword puzzles. And she would sit there in a deep trance almost, and she would circle these words and find these words almost all day. And I'd be like a kid, like, what's going on? That is the most boring thing you could actually do is spend your day trying to find words. But she found it fascinating. It was a stress reliever for her. My grandmother, her name was Artola Mitchell. Rest in peace, Artola Mitchell. She would sit out there and she would do her crossword puzzles. And I found that my mom even picked that up and she does her crossword puzzles. I'm determined, guys, that we don't do it enough in our relationships. We don't research the words that work in our relationship or the words that do not work in our relationship. I always say that words lead to sentences and sentences to paragraphs. And before we know it, every word is, is attributing to our communication style in our relationship. That's why it's so important that you can shut or close a relationship open or enter or push back a relationship in a great opportunity simply because of a word choice you make. Power of words is so, so important. The depth of your words, what that word means to a person is so phenomenal. Yes to me could be a no to somebody else. We have to understand the power, that enriching impact of each word that we say. Have you taken the time, and I'm gonna challenge you four different things I'm gonna talk about today. One of them is, have you had a word search? Number one, you must be intentional about word searching the words you say in a relationship. You must, if you've been following the series, you know I talk about body language and how the person on the other end receives that word. Just because you feel like saying it, just because that's a word you like, may not be the appropriate word for your relationship use. Say that word with me, relationship use. Just because you like the word, just because your dad said it to you, just because your mom said it to your dad, just because your sister and brother said it, does not mean that that is a word that is on limits for you. 
You have to examine each word. That's the first step. Examine words in relationship. And how are you going to do that? I'm glad you asked. I created a game called the interview game, guys. I got it here. We got cards. We got bars. We got, <laughs> we got things in here. 29 cards, 116 questions to ask the hard questions in your relationship. It's called the interview game. And one of the categories is word searches. Word searches is one of the categories. Huh, right here. Word searches. We got it. So it's a fun interactive way to actually do the hard work. So I already helped you guys on the other end. So first, you got to have a word search. You got to ask the questions. You got to ask them the words that they like. You got to ask them different scenarios. You got to ask them the words that bother them. You got to take the time. One scripture I love said, people perish because of the lack of knowledge. I agree with that, the lack of knowledge, but I also take it further, the lack of application of that knowledge causes a deeper sadness to handle or to happen to people when they don't focus on implementing strategies that are there to protect their relationships. So one, you got to have the word search first, set the time intentionally with your mate whether it's business, platonic, whatever, somebody you want to grow in your relationship with, you want to set them down and you want to circle. You want to ask the questions. For example, what does shut up mean to you? Do you like that word? All right? Don't just put it and plug it on your relationship just because that's what you heard. It is so, so important that you take the time to ask what they like. One of the funniest movies I ever saw was 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 coming to America. And if you remember that scene where where Eddie Murphy starred in that movie, and it was a lot of great comedians, a lot of phenomenal people in there. It was great, funny. It's a classic. One of the things when he got ready to be married to this lady that they had chose queen, a potential queen to be, uh, he took her to the back room and he said, "What? I want to find out more about you." And, and one of her questions was, uh, he he asked her, "Was hey, what do you like?" She said, whatever you like, <laughs> you know, she said, what do you want to do? Whatever you want to do, whatever you like. So we don't want to have that whatever you like mentality because it's a relationship. We have to relate inside of the ship. We have to be inside of the ship as shipmates. We have to be participants of the relationship. We have to relate. And if we don't relate, there is no relationship. So you have to really say, do you like this word? Do you like it when I say this word? What's some things you don't like? Take the time to do that. That's one. Word search, ask them what they like.